Hey everybody, George Conley from Scratch Golf Tips. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the flight chipping sleeve that you put over your right arm if you're a right-handed golfer. My friends over at Flight have sent me one, so I'm going to put it a little bit to use on the range and do some shots around the green and give you my thoughts on it. So the flight chipping arm sleeve has a solid uh, plastic plate that runs along the back right arm. And this is to prevent any movement in the arm, especially in the back of the chipping stroke. So a very common thing that amateurs will do when they chip is they'll break this arm right and they'll just become out of sequence throughout the chipping stroke. This will prevent that motion from happening entirely. I'll try and hit a chip here about a waist to waist finish. You know, inadvertently, that kind of helped me keep my head down as well because you're working so much rotationally instead of relying on your, on your forearms to get through the ball. We'll hit another one here a little bit lower towards the back of the stance. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't feel unnatural as most training aids kind of feel awkward, which I like. I like to think I have decent chipping form, but this is definitely helping me reinforce that back arm nicely. So another thing that you can work on with this is your tempo as well, because a bad issue that people have when they break that back wrist is it kind of gets their tempo a little bit out of sync. So you can also work on, as well as keeping your head down, you can work on the tempo. I'm going to hit a little lower shot right into this red pin right here. It's kind of a bump and run, a little bit short. Um, I guess in the grand scheme of things, you're not going to hit perfect chips with this aid. And that's not really the point. The point isn't to hit the ball a foot away every time. It's more fundamentally based, get the technique down. And then once you remove it, you'll still have that feeling, but then you can be able to get your feeling without the, the training aid on your body. I'm gonna try and go for a little bit of a higher shot now. Open up my stance, open up the club face. We'll go to this yellow pin here, still keeping this, uh, this back arm locked in with the flight chipping sleeve. Pull that one a little bit left, just about perfect for distance. It has a nice feel to it though, through impact. It, it's not uncomfortable like most training aids. So now I'm in a greenside bunker here. One thing to note with the flight chipping sleeve is that you do not want to be um, hitting full shots. It says it on the box, it says it in the instructions. You don't want to hit full swings, you're going to hurt yourself. So just if you're in the bunker, sometimes you can hit these accelerated chip shots. You do not want to do that with this sleeve on in the bunker. Going to drop a ball down here open up the club face a little bit, open up the stance a little bit, but keeping this back arm in the sleeve, keeping it locked in just a little bit. That came up pretty nicely. Obviously with the lack of acceleration and, last of, and lack of hinge, it didn't have the stop that it normally does. It had a nice rollout on it, but that's actually even a good shot to have in your bag, a little chunk and run. This is a great tool to work on your bunker play as well. So all in all, I'm a big fan of this training aid. I think a lot of training aids are meant for the full swing. They're meant to be used on the driving range. There are a few putting training aids, but I don't think that there are enough training aids for chipping. So if you're, if you're not too comfortable with the technical side of your chipping, this is definitely an aid that you want to look into. You can click the link in my bio or description, whatever platform this is up on, and you can shop the site right now. Thank you very much to Flight Golf for sending this over to me. I appreciate it very much. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Play well and take care.